Oh, okay. And then talk to you about it. Yeah. And like, like this November, Spencer's going to vote gold. You're obviously going to vote red. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to vote to stay home and make snail trails in my t-shirt. <laughs> Welcome to the Beacon House Podcast. Recorded live in Knoxville, Tennessee. You know, I would like to point out that people who... I didn't even start. I would like to point out to people who said that we're in for the roaring 20s or 2020 is hindsight and didn't knock on wood, you jinxed us, you motherfuckers. I'll say this. I hate you all. 2020 feels like somebody's hind is roaring. (laughs) Yeah. I'll give you that. It does. It feels like... I don't want to be gross here. It feels like explosive diarrhea the year. The year just feels like that. The uh, year just feels like you ate bad Mexican last night. So, so we're here. Botulism. More, more the than, year. More than halfway through the year. And uh, Libby and I, last week, finally, uh, our, our, the booklets we had people sign at our wedding disappeared the day of. We found them. Uh-oh. What so did I we, write? It was great. I don't remember. I don't, I don't think you wrote either. anything. I don't, you didn't. Usually um, I see that. It's like, write us a note. I'm like, fuck that. I but do, I but I never, I'm never brave enough to be like a smart ass. Like I always feel like I'm, well, I get so, I get really like emotional at weddings. Not, not like I'm crying, but I'm just like super into it. Like I'm a sucker for like romance and stuff like that. And like being at a wedding, I'm all like, I'm just so on board, <laughs> you I know, mean, that I can't even talk shit in the, in the fucking paper, you know? So time being a flat circle, I'm going to bring this around to Beacon House and New Year real quick. One of my friends from middle school and high school left a note in there. And shout out Paige. I don't think you listen, but on the off chance you hear it. Uh, Libby read it to me while I was driving down the interstate. It made me burst into tears, which almost probably was super dangerous. But then she signed it, Jew, because she's Jewish. (laughs) (laughs) And fast forward today, I was like, I haven't talked to Paige in a while. I should reach out to her. I checked the messages to see when the last time I actually talked to her was. It was... Her saying, sorry, I didn't come to the Beacon House New Year. I had other stuff going on. I hope it was fun. And I said, Beacon no biggie. New Year. Happy New Year. You remember when, maybe it wasn't Beacon House, but we all went out somewhere and like brought in the New Year. Into oh, Brandon year. Hudson played at Central Depot. That's right. That's yeah. right. And oh, God, I think I didn't get to go to. Thanks. Oh, man. And I, and I want to just, just but since we're handling. It was just, e, what a year it's been. Speaking of that, I want to say a uh, shout out and uh, a fond rest in peace to our friend Kurt Wickstrom that passed away. Oh, God, yeah. Um, Kurt played at that event. He did some songs and he was phenomenal and he was happy and friendly just like every single time you see him. And uh, he was killed in a car wreck a couple weeks ago. So Fuck. I think that's already gone around on Facebook, but just I never got to actually to say it anything. Out there. To put it yeah. out there, man, he was I can. Yeah. He was amazing. And I only ran into him a few times because I didn't at start the open playing mics. with Brandon. He was yeah, always at the open mics year. and he, he was, was the friendliest guy. He was a sweetheart. Man, he was, he was all in. Anyway, 2020 has 2020 sucked. Has sucked. It's also been a long time since it's just been us three. Yeah. It's been a minute. I know. Let's take We've our clothes off. Oh, I actually did. did okay, get now my, let's put them back on. I Wait, got does my, that mean I can fart? Can I fart? Please no. I also got my lawnmower <laughs> 3.0, so I want to see. I want you guys to see the heart I shaved in my chest hair. <laughs> oh, did man. you? We're going to have yeah. to pause the podcast. <laughs> yeah, it says S and H. Well, it's been nice talking to you guys. Ding, 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 ding. Dude, Dude can you imagine okay. if we just did a five-minute episode and that was it? Like, just came in, said some shit, and then left. If only we were that short-winded. So <laughs> I have no shame of this, but it is embarrassing. So I'll share this. I don't know if you're joking or not. I did invest and it. I shipped it to my mom's house. Wait, I'm sorry, what? The, what? the manscaping thing. I bought it. Oh, you bought a fucking... But you without, bought a lawnmower 3.0? You bought a, n- a I don't nut remember trimmer. what I got. But yeah, I got one of those. I don't know which one. And then you sent it to your mom? You fucking, no, no, no. You sent your I ball sent it to buster the house. to your mom? Hey, I, I just wanted you to know. To our house. I really appreciate that. <laughs> I was I was paving the road for you, buddy. Um, yeah, that's the best Father's Day gift I've ever received. They sent me an email, and they were like, hey, your package has arrived. And package. <laughs> yeah, it has. Yeah, it has. God, I, that, I play T-ball trimmed. so well. I play T-ball <laughs> so well. But I freaked out because I, I got the email, and I was like, I don't think they offered like discreet shipping. And that means one of my nieces or my brother or my mother got a box that said manscape it just it Hunter means Barnes. someone well, in your family had to explain to the youngins what uh that it's just a hand yeah. massager i i ran over there i was like please don't no one be home it 
for sure was picked up and set. I remember when I was younger, somebody was somebody like, bought my, at Christmas. Somebody had bought my grandmother a vibrator. Oh, and they didn't actually oh. know what it was, but it was a straight up vibrating dildo. Like it, amazing. It, it, they wrapped it up and they said it was a face massager. <laughs> And so it'll, she, yeah, it'll massage your face, all right. Stick. I remember your mouth. being at my grandmother's house for Christmas, and we're around the table, and we, everybody opened that up. My grandmother goes, "Oh, what? What is it?" And this, I don't. Someone's remember, like bite on it. I don't know if it's my aunt or somebody. They go, "Oh, it's like a facial massager." Yeah, you, and my mom and dad were so tickled at it, and I was like, "What's so funny?" And they're like, "We can't tell you." Yeah, and just, now I'm like, "Hey, that's a." I remember the first time I ever saw one. I was like in one of the, like one of those porn stores you go yeah, yeah, with your yeah. friends at night or whatever, and I was like, "Hey." They sell face massage. Like, Bro, that's a dildo. That's a straight up vibrator. And I was like, but no, my grandmother. You didn't put two and two together. You had to be told. I did that night. In the oh, my the night God. In my adolescence somewhere you, in West you, Knoxville. I mean, technically, if you were to put the vibrating dildo in your mouth and bite down, it would massage your face. It would rattle the fillings out of your teeth. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it would feel it so up. good. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I don't, I don't. Knock all the mucus out. <laughs> I can't. I can't even right now. <laughs> Does your jaw hurt? Because we can get you a face massager for that. My my jaw hurts. Yeah, my jaw hurts. Anyway, so I'm really concerned. I have what I thought was just a sinus problem going on right now, but you oh, informed me that I have the COVID. No, I don't think you have the COVID. I yes, think, he does. You, that's, you basically no, said, No, I just Casey. said, who could know? Because some people have no symptoms. Some people, some people that are sick as shit don't have it. Some people that aren't sick at all do have it. Fucking who knows, man? I mean, I have been sneezing a bunch, but I really thought it was just allergies. Like, I cleaned my room really well because cat hair was getting everywhere. Yeah, sure. And then I took a nap immediately after cleaning it because I was like, oh, dude, oh that's, I got sleepy. That's allergy. And it's then allergy. I laid down, and then I woke up, and my, literally it was my right eye, my right nostril, and then my right like throat where the ears drain. Mm-hmm. And I just kept having going like, mm, like you know when you uh, yeah. close yes. your throat and do that, mm, 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 like trying to I'm glad you said it. that because nobody knows what to call them. You go, yeah. You like suck the flame up to, so you can swallow it or whatever. And just for I think the last throat two needs to be open for and that. Just Spencer. for the last two days, yeah, it's just yeah. gotten worse and worse. I'll borrow your like, uh, <laughs> facial massager. <laughs> oh, maybe that'll help. Maybe I'll just go get a dildo and put it in my mouth. No, get a It'll, facial massager. Yeah, Fucking, you're right, though. Like, it's so hard to even have like a tiny sniffle or something now with COVID or if cough. Mm-hmm. Like, I had a, there was so much dust because they've been working on the grout at work and it causes a lot of dust to kick up, whatever. So I've been like, <coughs> you can't even cough without everybody looking at you. They're just like, <gasps> And, we're, and we're like, who fucking knows? We don't know. Just to, uh, trying to check, make sure everybody's temperature is under 100. But, you know, some people even say that doesn't work. And nobody knows what really works. And they ban videos of some doctors, but not other doctors. And what the fuck is going on in the world? <gasps> Demon semen. Demon semen. Oh, man. Wait. I forgot. That was going to be my funny beginning was that that was my first band name was Demon semen. And our first <laughs> song was called Hot Marble Mouth. <laughs> Hot, Hot Marble, Marble Mouth. Mouth. Do you want to cut it in right now? And I'll put it at the beginning. Do you want to still know. do it? Kinda. No, don't do it. No, I'll no, save it. Preserve for- what you have. No, no, no. We can. We'll write hot marble. Listen, mouth, like I, I saw the video that that yeah. lady put out and immediately was like, "What's happening? What Dude, is this?" I, man, I saw it and a lot of it actually jived with me. I hate to say that. I'm not saying I believe <laughs> what she does at home in her church, but everything they said about zinc is true. One hundred percent true. Yeah. One hundred percent. They explained how zinc works, which I never knew. I just knew that it did work. Which is also another reason why I don't think this is a cold or anything, because I took zinc and it didn't help. Well, does zinc give anti vaxxers Zinc autism? is an antiviral. Zinc, what zinc does is it stops virus from spreading and multiplying, mm-hmm. especially around the lungs. But apparently hydroxychloroquine with zinc mm-hmm. amplifies that. Now, now, a lot of people go, wow, don't believe that. So everybody's like, only listen to doctors. And they're like, well, here's some doctors. Well, not those doctors. Like, only listen to people that are protesting. Only, we only have to uh, go like a glorify like black women. Oh, well, here's one. And she's a doctor. Well, not that one. You know. She believes in demon semen and alien DNA. I mean, I know that lady said some crazy shit, but what about the like six other people that were there? The one from Yale, the one from UCLA. They were all like, hey, by Dude, the way. That's a good point. If seven people say it, it's true. I hate you. Look, I'm not hey, saying it's hey, true. Five out, saying of, it's five out of five out of hey, four sorry. four out of five dentists love Trident gum, and so do I. So, oh fuck, I, is that what I'm care? The uh, is that the stuff I chew now? Oh yeah, yeah, Trident. Yeah. Yeah. It's got the uh, what is it? They talked about it on Rogan. It's Fluoride? A, no, it's got a thing in it. It's it's really good. Uh, xylitol. Oh, is it's that got good for It makes your your, t- your cavities go away. <gasps> really? Yeah. I need to start chewing Trident. Check out that episode with yeah. Rhonda Patrick. I got hot marble mouth. <laughs> 
<laughs> it'll it, yeah, if you get cavities from chewing on that vibrator, yeah. you can chew Trident and it'll okay, if the listen, vibrator gives you cavities. <laughs> this is crazy. So listen, I have a little story I need to go. I need to cleanse myself of an event by just getting yeah, it off that before my chest. the podcast. Yeah. A d- different kind of cleanse. Oh. Uh, by the way, I'm not going to name any names, but somebody that I don't know if you guys have met him. Anyway, a friend of mine told me that uh, he was exposed to COVID when he was working at uh, Weigel's here locally. And he, he was, I think he meant to say, so I, I had to quarantine for 14 days. <laughs> Instead, he goes, they put me on a 14 day cleanse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Shout if that out. gets rid of COVID. I think that gets rid of everything. But it's not quite intermittent fasting uh, anymore. Oh, no. But yeah, at that point, you're just waiting for your shoes to come out of your mouth. <laughs> Ugh. Oh man. Anyway, you've got so if that happens, you can get a face massage. That's a terrible thing to happen during a toilet paper shortage, too. So anyway, I, I just want to get so everybody knows the election is coming up, and so I was hot and loaded. And the what, end of COVID. Go ahead. Some people say um, I was hot and loaded with lots of dank libertarian memes. I mean, I had loads of them, and I was ready to really start some shit. Yeah. On Facebook, just did Joe fire- Jorgensen quit? No, 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 no. Oh. She still, in fact, she raised over like, uh, I think she raised $600,000 in like a couple weeks. It was crazy amounts. Of the, it's, the, it's the most successful libertarian campaign it's ever been, ever. But I was loaded up with stuff, and so I was kind of putting it out. People are expressing their you know, disdain for uh, the two candidates, <laughs> which are piss poor candidates. And I was like, this is the time. This is the time to throw a meme out there. Just to tread lightly. Let them know there's another option. Maybe you want to look into this, you know? Maybe the best of both worlds is what you're actually after, you know? Maybe you don't want a pedophile. Like, hey, the Epstein thing. Like, it's all just, it's the perfect time to, to break the two-party system. So you know me. I was shooting stuff out there and like, so... They were very popular, those I, posts. I have, I have stopped doing it. I don't know if, if, not like anybody's just monitoring my Facebook feed that, but I've gone, I've gone back to just posting like, funny things cats somewhat snarky but music videos and blah 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 and of mm-hmm. course this week burn the city came out on spotify he's burning the city uh, this shit band from knoxville <laughs> <laughs> but so we've been we've been promoting that we had the amazing episode last week with pedal video. java pedal java was phenomenal yeah, and i've got an order in from them right now i can't wait to get it uh shout out to those guys but i've been focusing on that and here's why i want to tell you a little story why i'm trying to make this quick excuse me that was accidental for so me. sorry one night after work, I'm on my way home. I got no groceries. I, this is after the mask mandate. You know, they made it, you have to wear masks to go in a restaurant or a business or whatever. And so me and all my employees have been in masks the full time. We've been mm-hmm. stopping people when they come in. Hey, man, you got a mask. You got to have a mask to come in. We can try to find you one or you can go outside and call. We'll bring your stuff out. Whatever. We've been real serious about it, trying real hard. I got people working for me. They're scared. You know, I'm just sort of like, and I kind of got on this thing where like, I'm like, man, if you just barge into a place without a mask, you're kind of a dick. That's a shit move. Not necessarily because your argument is invalid, because I know a lot of smart people that think the whole mask thing is absolutely stupid and it doesn't help anything. And sure. there's plenty of videos showing <laughs> what all goes through a, a cloth mask. Okay, so okay, you're I guess wear a skin mask. And a lot of ahead. people are also saying that uh, you know that it's unconstitutional to make people wear masks. Of course, there's people on both sides with facts support why it is and why it isn't. And they've got piles and piles of articles and they're on Facebook and <laughs> you know, whatever. I'm not, you not, can just read the constitution. Too. Not getting into whether or not, well, mm-hmm. there's a lot of local amendments and stuff that say the health department can pass. So no, any, I, I know, but I'm anybody you say, Hey, it's unconstitutional. They're going to come back with no, here's why it's constitutional and vice versa. Mm-hmm. A lot of people think that the mask is just a tip of the iceberg where you can force people to take vaccines and all this kind of stuff. And when you lose those freedoms, they're hard to get back. I get it. That's mm-hmm. a very libertarian kind of an idea. But my whole point about the masks was sort of just like, it's a common respect. It's a decency thing. Like, you know what I mean? And my whole point was, and I made this one night on my way home after work, after a guy came in without a mask, mm-hmm. blatantly. Like he walked by like five signs that said you had to have one. The super don't tread on me type. Man, I don't know. See, I don't know the guy's backstory or if he was just stupid or if he was defiant or whatever but he came in one of my employees who's a good guy who's been on this podcast i'm not gonna say his name because i'm gonna drag him in it but he said sir would you mind getting a mask and the guy absolutely chewed his ass out mm-hmm. he looked at him like he was crazy told the guy he was an asshole this guy doesn't get paid to deal with that I, my, my people are supposed to be working at a restaurant they're not paid to be bouncers yeah and i had to like stop try to ask beg the guy to like go outside sorry man it's just the you know and finally we just had to serve him get him the fuck out of there he wasn't gonna have it but my whole point is that it puts the staff in a very, very bad position. Mm-hmm. If people don't give a fuck. Yep. 
And it's just inconsiderate. So you may believe masks suck, or you may believe masks are going to get us out of this altogether, uh, which I think the truth is somewhere in the middle, probably, just like everything always is. But I was on my way home. I've already gone longer than I wanted to go. I was on my way home, and I, was, I had no groceries. I stopped at the Waffle House. I wanted an omelet. Mm-hmm. So I pull up. I get my mask on. I go in. I'm the only one in the place wearing a mask. The, the workers are wearing a mask, and it's this cook who she later tells me it was his first day ever. Mm-hmm. And this girl, they were both very nice, and they were absolutely getting their ass handed to him. Like, there were all these people out there at, at the little bar. They were all over each other. One guy was coughing. <laughs> Nobody had masks on. There were cops in the place without masks on. And I just mm-hmm. stood there, and the lady looked at me. She goes, it's going to be a while. And I go, I don't mind. I get it. You guys look really, really busy, and I can tell you're up against a lot. And she was just like, you could just see it in her eyes. She was defeated. She couldn't go around and argue with all these people to put a mask on. They were going to tell her to go fuck herself. Yeah. They obviously didn't believe it or didn't care. Or they think it's a hoax or whatever. Shame on those cops, by the way. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna well, and I thought maybe they just took their mask off to sit down because I know that's a thing somewhere, but nobody was distant. Like the, the people were just sitting all over each other. Well, yeah, sorry. Yeah, if they were eating. It looked like a Waffle House something. looks after bars let out. Mm-hmm. Let's put it that way. And I, I don't care what these people believe, and I would never make a Facebook post about they're stupid because mm-hmm. maybe they're right. Maybe the masks really don't do anything. But my whole point is it was very inconsiderate to the, the, the girl and the, the guy working. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it puts them in a position where they could get closed down Mm -hmm. If somebody comes in and sees what they're allowed to go on, but they can't, obviously they're, you know what I mean? It's almost like a bullying thing. Yeah. It 100% is. So I go back in, I get my omelet. I tell him, I said, I think you guys are doing a great job. I'll leave him a big tip. I go home and I made a post on Facebook. I felt really good about it. I said something like, uh, if you walk into a place without a mask, you're an asshole or, you know, (laughs) it's a shit move. It, It puts the, whether you think they work or not, it puts the employees in a position and you shouldn't do that to people. They're just trying to make a living. They can't help it. They didn't create the mask mandate. And I made a little sign out of it. It looked like chalkboard. Boom, I put it up there. I felt pretty good about that. <laughs> so after that, I wake up the next day. The comments have devolved into a festering, seething, scathing, middle, throwing middle shit school, bag of a hell ride. Like middle school playground. Yeah. And I'm <laughs> talking, well, I didn't have a problem with people. So, so people that I haven't talked to in years. People I went to high school with are fighting with people that I met later and talked like, so a whole bunch of my friends are fighting in the comments. They don't know each other. And I know all of them. Some of them are recent. Some of them are older. Like some of them are like real hardcore libertarians. And they're like, no, the mask thing is wrong and blah, blah, blah. And then they get into the whole, should, should you have to bake a, a gay wedding cake, the Nazi cake yeah. or whatever? And then we go into this whole rabbit hole. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. I'm just saying that's inconsiderate. I'm not, this isn't supposed to be anyway. It was bad. I saw some of my friends call other friends of mine a cunt in the comments. Like it got real disrespectful. And I'm real really sp- sorry about that, Hunter. I just yeah. I was really I know. passionate. I know. Casey wasn't even talking about Matt. He just jumped in and said, "Hunter's a cunt." <laughs> <laughs> but dude, it was bad. And it, and I tried to get in and kind of mediate to to. Oh no, Spencer. Well, I just go. Hey, I think what they're trying to say is blah blah blah. And my whole point was blah blah blah. By the way, I believe in freedom too. I just think it's bad to, you know. Freedom is supposed to be until it hurts somebody else. And but anyway, there was no, no making any sense of it. There was no logic. There yeah, was no can't. rationale. It was all literally just like Casey talks about confirmation bias and echo it, chambers, echo chamber confirmation bias. it was the biggest pile of shit. And I almost deleted it just because I didn't want to see my friends at each other's throat anymore, being real shitty to each other. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like civil discourse. I think at some point I just assume everybody I knew would be able to just, talk like adults nope and i was deadly wrong Mm -hmm. and i realized that my little quip didn't help those people at waffle house at maybe i don't know maybe one person read it and thought hey i'm gonna carry a mask with me so i don't have to make workers uncomfortable but i really don't think i changed anything except causing a huge reason for people that i actually care about the fight Mm -hmm. and so i'm not doing it Mm -hmm. i'm not doing it i i have my personal convictions i know what i'm going welcome to no facebook oh no i'm still going to be on facebook but i'm just not gonna guess what you're not gonna save the world by what you say on facebook nobody is sorry it's a pile of shit it sucks facebook sucks so bad yeah promoting the ep is the first time i've posted on facebook in like two months it's the first time i've been on it in like two months i think i promoted yesterday i watched crawl yeah which was yeah yeah actually i saw that i i I liked it i thought it was all right i thought it was fun 
I didn't think it was deep or like those alligators uh, definitely had. COVID, it was a though. creature feature that people get munched on, and you're like, yeah, those people got yeah, it. I thought, yeah, no, especially when they were out in the middle there, and everything was swirling, and it was big, and they kind of panned out, and you could see across the street where they had to go or whatever, and like yeah. alligators swimming by. Mm-hmm. I thought it was cool. It was fun. It was like greatest thing ever, but it was a fun watch. It's entertaining. I thought I, <laughs> my best example was it was Deep Blue Sea directed by the Florida Man. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, the same thing happened when they well, pulled that video of the doctors off, like. I saw a bunch of people like I understood both sides and I was like, well, but nobody's trying to learn anything from each other. Nobody's no, not. Nobody's going, well, wait, what they do you all want to be right? They want so badly to be right and they get something out of it. They get like this hit of dopamine mm-hmm. if they out argue the other person. And I've just seen so many people go down in flames on Facebook on both sides of the coin and everybody's posturizing to look like they're somehow like intellectually superior and by the way if your intellectual outlet is making a difference on social media you're not an intellectual Mm -hmm. sorry pal and like i've seen people that are just anything you like will eventually get demonized i saw somebody whose opinion matters a lot to me who i don't agree with on everything but they were saying well the reason that everybody's so fucking stupid is because they you know they listen to things like the joe rogan podcast and I, i was like wait that's how I know how I'm doing my DMT right. I was like, I, I've seen a lot of really intelligent people on that podcast. Yeah. I like that podcast. Dude, well, whenever him and Bill Burr were talking about the Chad or whatever, Chaz. Oh, my God. Dude, it was incredible. Incredible. It felt totally incredible. But they, they seem to think he's like a right wing. And I'm like, no, he just he's just not biased the way that... Anyway. I made, I made a post. It did not hit fire like yours did, but I felt like it needed to be said. Mm-hmm. And my post simply said... Echo chambers and virtue signaling are not exclusively a leftist or a liberal thing. And I feel like some of you need to hear that fact. Yeah. But that was my experience. And I just wanted to say that in case anybody's listening, like uh, I, I know how I'm going to vote. If you, this is the last thing I'm going to say about it, but if you're on the fence about either of the two main parties, <laughs> maybe check into the, you know, the libertarian party, if you're pro weed, it's the, by the way, recently, both of the other two main parties, including the left has voted to keep weed illegal. Because they're all making money off of it being illegal. You guys should know that by now. The only party that's actually for, for, for legalizing and decriminalizing things is the Libertarian Party. Again, uh, the only party that's actually ever been in favor of gay marriage is the Libertarian Party. Like, the Democrats are voting. Obama and, and Biden and everybody were voting against marriage equality as recent as 2012. It's like, as understandable as it is, choosing the lesser of two evils is still choosing evil. Yeah, and... I mean, but, but again, if you're super into one of those parties, and you've got, man, get after it. No, go, same. Go same. do your thing. But th- this, I'm just going to leave it on the table right there. Uh, if anybody thinks it's fun, or if I can find some lighthearted things, I might share them on my Instagram story. I'm definitely going to take those ref pictures that you shared and save them on my oh, yeah. phone and just post them on people's posts. Yeah. I mean, it's, dude, it's just turning into a, people are so, so idle mm-hmm. that it's just become volatile. And I'm just, man, I'm just saying, everybody knows where I stand. I have my reasons for standing there. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of sick of, people acting Fighting. like acting like if you have a difference of opinion from them that it automatically makes you stupid like somehow they're the purveyor it also makes you evil depending it's either stupid well, it's or evil. also yeah. very easy to just comment hateful shit on facebook and have no repercussions for it like those comments that you see nobody would dare say it in person to that person's like face. eric mm-hmm. stan made a post today and it was a joke it was a joe biden joke it was like a babylon b thing and it was funny was it the one that was he's so close to finding his vp so he can, he can smell, smell it, it. Dude, at some point, you've got to be able to let opposing viewpoints just fly by you <clears throat> and say something like, like, so here's what I think, and not, oh, blah, 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 and like go into their profile and attack them, and it, you're just not going to change anybody's mind that way, mm-hmm. and um, anyway, this is, this, I didn't expect, I did not expect to talk about this for so long. I think it's interesting. I'm glad you brought it up. I mean, I'm very idealistic and mm-hmm. I very much feel like when I discover something, I want to share it. I want to help people give, give it for consideration. I don't want to argue anybody out of like what they believe. i would never do that. If somebody's, but, but if somebody's so many people are on the fence, you know what I mean? Like yeah, 46% but- don't want to vote because they don't believe in anything. And I'm hoping maybe one of those people go, well, so wait, wait, there's one lady that's like the best of both worlds and mm-hmm. blah, blah, and go, yeah, man, maybe you could just look into that. That's so, all I've ever been trying to do. The thing is, though, do you're me. you're in a society. <laughs> me? You're in a society that loves junk food over health food, that wants to count calories instead of understanding how carbohydrates, sugars, and fats break down in the body, and all at the same time uh, uh, are doing the same like consumerism as far as like this feels good and this is what I want. That has entered the moral sphere. It's morality as consumerism. 
which is why everyone finds whatever trench they feel the most comfortable in, even if they don't actually believe it. And then they begin opening fire and it's lasers canceling each other out as they hit and disappear into the ether in the middle. It's so divisive. And that's the biggest thing for me is anything that divides us just can't be good on the grand Mm -hmm. scale. And I I saw an article too, where this, this, uh, like a, kind of like a behavioral psychologist sort of broke down this big paradigm of people, the uh, confirmation bias of Casey, like you were talking about. And basically people just start to retreat into these little subgroups, echo chambers and subgroups. But what they do in those subgroups still affects the entire collective, Mm -hmm. the collective. So there's no, everybody's so hell bent on being right, but nobody's actually right. Everybody just feels the way they feel. And it's part of a bigger thing. So, you know, I don't want to sound super, Actually, I don't give a shit how I sound. You Dude, guys, you guys are right the whole time. Out. I should have just stayed out of this because people can't handle it. People, people can't handle civil discourse. Well, mm-hmm. And also, I make Facebook posts, and then if I say something that I think is going to be polarizing, I just say, don't at me. And yeah. the moment people start commenting, I just start deleting comments. Yeah. And I go, I, I fucking said, don't comment. That's, I, I didn't, I'm not putting this up here for discussion. Mm-hmm. Um, but I honestly feel like everyone just needs to fucking get along. I agree with that. Like, well, they it's, need to so, be, it's so easy to just go. They need hey, to man, be quicker yeah. to do that than to fight. Like I get if they want to debate. I think healthy debate is good, but they, they put the debate first. Yeah. They don't care how they, about other people's feelings or how they, they come off attacking somebody. They just fucking go at them because they, for some reason, they feel like they're the moral purveyor. Well, of it's like, also the thing. It's like I made the funniest Facebook post, like comment on this thing. Now I'm, I'm happy. That's all that matters. It's like, I got the shock value, which I understand good shock value and sure. humor. I say shit sometimes where people are like, do you really mean that? And I'm like, no. Like making me one take our, through sugar on my birthday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so good. One of, our, pretty, one, of our, awesome. one of our good friends, I make jokes all the time to this person and they get super offended and they mm-hmm. kind of like pull back and I go, you got to understand, I say shit strictly for shock value. I don't mean what I say. You can usually tell in my tone. I'll usually line it up with, no, seriously, this, you know, that's how you know I'm being serious. But you don't, it's just, that's just who I am. Like, I love shooting the shit and being funny. However, if it was down to, like, an argument with somebody, although I'd probably argue the demon semen. That's that's a little strange. But just get along. Like, yeah, how I mean, fucking hard is it to be nice to somebody now? It's, it's getting harder and harder, and that's one of the things I hate. And again, I get that everybody's been cooped up inside. A lot of people's only interaction is through Facebook. If I may, I, I think it's gracious of you to allow that into the conversation, but let's all be honest. The, uh, the, the pigeonholing of people physically into like their house and nowhere else has made it worse, but it's been like this for years. Fact. You're, they, you know, that's, that's, that's not... I'm, I, God, I feel like a dick. I appreciate your point, and I think it's not. I think it's nice that you are trying to be well, fair. Well, I just, to that, but it's I generally not. believe that people are good. Somewhere on some level, people mm-hmm. are at a base level. People are good, not evil. Um, so when people do, so you're things, not a Calvinist, <clears throat> I guess. I don't even know what that is. Um, but but basically, when people do terrible things, I have to kind of believe that um, it's them falling victim to some sort of a weakness or something. Yeah. Um, rather than it's them just being, oh, pe- all people suck and blah, blah. I mean, I've probably said things like that, but deep down I believe that oh, sure. the, yeah. even the people I disagree with the worst or I will see the acting the worst are still good people. They're just, they've got something, they've got an idea somewhere that's poisoning them, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, Agreed. I think, what was it? Um, is it Confucius that says, Hating somebody is just drinking poison and wishing the other person would die. Yeah, I've got a, it. Uh, it says anger. Also, this may not have been Confucius, but that's true. It also says anger is punishing yourself for somebody else's mistake. And it just—I mean—I think I've talked about this before. I've had people come up to me and be like, "Hey, I feel like you don't like me." Like, you, you know, I'm like, and I have to be brutally honest and just go, "Look, I don't have a time in my day to put effort into liking or disliking you." I yeah. don't know you enough you to do are. that. Like you're just here mm-hmm. and I'm sure eventually we'll become buddies or whatever. But to, to think that I hate you, just know that I don't have time in my day to worry about whether or not I dislike you that much. That's just not, I don't, I wouldn't waste my time on that. And people are like, God damn, that's brutal. And I'm like, no, it's just, it's why normal, would you, why would is. you waste time throughout your day simmering and being like, I fucking hate that guy. It's like, how about you, 
you know, people do, man. Put some shoes on and get the fuck over it. Dude, mm-hmm. people do that shit, too. Like that, You're absolutely right. Somebody will see something online. I'd be mad about it all day. I think I did that a while back, and I felt so stupid. Mm-hmm. So stupid about that for like being mad at, at something that happened online. Like it, It's not real. I, I don't know, man. Um, I have to kind of believe that. Well, and the sad thing is, I think people are going to start to get tired of all the fighting about whatever, but the election's coming right around the fucking corner. Yeah, it's not going to go away. No matter who wins, the other side is just going to point mm-hmm. fingers. And I think it. all of November should just be a four-part election. Oh, my God. Like just, it should be. Election part one, election part two, election part three, election yeah. part all, all. As long as one member. of the episodes is called Sleepy Joe. Dude, it, I, he's, oh, God. There's Trouble whole, in Trump town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, it, it, it's going to be a mess. So, but not, not to just, I don't want to go out on just like a shit note either like that. I well, think, I'm also an agent of chaos, so watching that will, I'll be like, yes, burn, burn. But really, honestly, Casey, there's, <clears throat> I, lately I've found way more sense in that than trying to like get in and make a difference on one of the, I, I don't want to sound defeated, but the problem is, is if nobody's ready to listen, it doesn't matter what you mm-hmm. say. That's the thing. You waste your breath on the You're ears not. of the deaf person. That, that's the problem. If you think like, oh man, I've got something that would really maybe stop a couple of people from fighting and you say it. They have to hear it yeah. in order for it to do anything. When people are so jammed up their own ass, mm-hmm. you're just wasting your breath. Well, and also, don't look at it as being defeated. Look at it as, I mean, don't really, I, this is going to sound like I'm saying, look at it as like, I'm better than this person. That's not what I'm trying to say. But look at it as a way of, you're never going to get through to those people. And so you should just find friends amongst people who have the same ideology as you. Well, and I'm it's not, not even about like a defeat where you're just like, have you seen both sides? Mm-hmm. They're both lunatics. Yeah. Well, even to challenge the ideology, but otherwise completely agree. Um, the thing that made me drop social media a couple months ago, other than literally to like, like I was telling Casey, Oh, this person posted a new YouTube video. I'll go look. Here's artwork. I like, or in the case of the EP, like it's a promotional tool. It's great, I think. Social media otherwise is a battlefield for a war that no one is actually fighting with casualties that no one has the room or time to repair or try to bury. And I realize that because uh, at the height of all the COVID madness in like March or April, or maybe it was May, I can't remember. um, when when, When I stirred the pot amongst people I don't speak to anymore or people that I do speak to by insisting that violence was a bad thing. I, at at that point I was like, there is no civil discourse happening. This is screaming at a, at a wall. I'm done. So I dropped it there to bring the point around to the ideology thing. And in a more positive note, I've been thinking the whole time we've been talking about Casey's big secret. (laughs) That was that's a huge ideological divide between between us. Yeah, and and yet here we are. Think about here we are now, and think about how we handled when you finally told us. It, it, what it should be that should be what's normal, yeah. not not what you see on social media. And what I would challenge is what you see on social media is normal there. What people do here, for the most part, is still what we did, where we go, oh, okay, and then talk to you about it. Yeah, and like like this November, Spencer's going to vote gold. You're obviously going to vote red, mm-hmm. and I'm going to vote to stay home and make snail trails in my T-shirts. <laughs> I might join you. Who knows? Yeah. I'm so sick of it. Red's but, Republican. Don't do that to me. <laughs> well, and just I know. The, That's what I heard, man. I heard, I heard you're is, really conservative. The thing is, is oh. that uh, oh, I see what you did. There. Some of these people, <laughs> man. Some of these people who are being really shitty online are people I really love. Mm-hmm. They're good. Uh, they've been guests on this podcast. Yeah. Multiple people. I'm not saying any one person. Multiple people. I don't know who you're talking about. No, dude. The there's two multiple. Of us. They even know. The two of us. There's multiple people that were just like going we are on multiple it. people. Opposite sides of things. Like, and I, I love them. I love all of them. And I think I just decided that I don't want to look for more reasons to not to love them. Um, and so they're allowed to think whatever they want. And if, if there's a danger that if I share what I think, they're going to jump in and attack or attack people I know. It's just not worth it. You're not going to change anybody's mind. Everybody knows how they feel. Also, I think everybody knows if they have questions or they want to, they can come talk to me. They can mm-hmm. DM me or they, like they can come be on this podcast so we can talk about it like adults or whatever. I don't think we've ever let anybody come in here and be stupid, you know? Yeah. Um, so for whatever reason, that's that's why I went back to just like saying, hey, and I didn't want to disable comments because like 
if, if I post a picture of like a guitar cable, someone goes, oh, that's cool. How does that work? I can go, well, it's like this, blah, blah, blah. Here's a link. And, you know, we do all these things and, or, or just to talk about whatever, fun video or, I, you know. Anyway, I didn't mean to talk that Yo, long. That's it's, all right. It's fine. Echo chambers are, uh, are social and intellectual homogeny. Which just what happens in the comments is a, is a flying turd. It's, in, it's, it, it's inbreeding of the mind, which yep. causes you to not sprout anything. Diversity is beautiful and... <clears throat> It should not cause division. Yeah, I've had a lot of people that have communicated with me through just like Facebook Messenger because mm-hmm. they just wanted to send videos or something sure. about about something that they didn't want people jumping in and just attacking. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's that sucks. That's, that's like, sad. That's sad. Yeah, but at any rate, well, um, I think I think it's about time to wrap it up. I agree. Uh, let's you know if we had to wrap up any kind of a message, guys, be good to each other. We're not yeah. going to make it out of this if we're if we're divided and we're fighting and and I don't know. Maybe your ideals are, are so important that they're worth losing friendships over, but man. I hear they mopped the Facebook offices with demon semen. Hey, vote Snail Trail 2020. <laughs> oh, my.